Hello, I'm Tom Haitley from Piasclavite, and this is my story. The first memory was being at my dad's football games, um, and then, you know, the more you grow up, the more you get to know the, the family history, and uh, yeah, for me it was the one thing I always wanted to do, and, and lucky enough to, to have got into the game. If you ask a lot of young, young boys, or even girls, that uh, what they want to do when they grow up, a, a lot would say footballer. Um, I was very fortunate in the way of growing up around football and going to the games every weekend, going to training with my dad and um, you know I think when you have that, that extra insight to the game and, and you're in it a lot, um, yeah, for, for sure it was the, the one thing I wanted to do. Lucky enough if, if I wasn't in school one day we'd go to the training ground and then on a match day it's funny how football's changed because it's completely different now. You wouldn't get children in the locker room before games and stuff. But, but back then, myself and uh, Brian Loudrop's boy, Nikolai, we used to go in and used to warm up the goalkeeper in the shower room while the, the, uh, Walter Smith was the manager. We'd be doing team talks and I would just be in the shower room and, and kicking footballs at, at Andy Gorham, the goalkeeper. Um, yeah, for sure football's changed in the way that you, you wouldn't do it now. My dad was a footballer, I wanted to be just like my dad and then uh, uh, the older you get, the more I realise I'm not going to be a striker, going to be more of a central midfielder, start watching, you know, more like Zidane or and these kind of players. Um, when I was a bit older, I used, used, to watch, used to enjoy watching Xavi Alonso, like, you know, these kind of central midfielders. Um, for me, I don't, I don't have the pressure of scoring goals like my dad did, my granddad, you know, it's a completely different position and I think it's probably a bit easier for me, you know, I've, I've been asked before about wearing the Haitley name and third generation and this kind of stuff, but it doesn't, it doesn't particularly bother me. After every game, before every game, it's, um, yeah, my, my biggest critic, the, the one that would, you know, tell me the truth. I had a time where, when I left Reading, um, so I did my like a two-year scholarship when I left school, one-year professional, and left 17 or 18 years old, I think I was. Um, and, and at the time, was like, uh, you know, like you, it was a bit of a, a kick in the stomach. You're in an environment where you're playing with Premier League footballers, you're training with Premier League footballers every day. Um, and you, you know, you're sort of in your comfort zone a little bit, I think. You're, you don't quite realise the opportunity you have. And football can be a bit like a roller coaster, there's lots of ups and lots of downs, and that, that was definitely my first. Dundee, um, yeah, it was sort of a, a time of um, in and out of the team. Um, you know, we, we used a lot of rotation at the time. Um, and yeah, I had a good chat with Neil McCann, that was the manager. And it was, a, it was a case of wasn't going to be playing all the time and, and at an age where I felt it was very important for me to play. You know, I want to play and, and show what I've got. And um, I got the call to, to come to Piast. Um, they wanted to make sure that I was fit and, and kept myself in good shape while I was out of contract. And yeah, I, I took care of myself. I, I was always ready for an opportunity to come. So. Um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty easy decision to be honest with you. I came over and, and trained with the guys for a few days and testing all this kind of stuff. And but the last season was a tough season. We, you know, it was all about fighting and, and staying up. And you know, I think this year we've shown what we can do and, and shown the players that we've got. And uh, when confidence is high, it's, it's, we're a completely different team. We've had a good season this year, so it's, it's, it's like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying my time in Glavice. Um, so we've, we've got a good group of coaches, good group of players. The goal would for sure be, you want to finish in the top eight. If, if you ask anybody who's, um, you want to try and get into the top eight. And then uh, from there, anything's possible in these last games. Um, you know, you can, I think anybody can still finish up into fourth. It's, uh, you know, any, anywhere up there is, is, is a possibility. You want to finish as high as you can, win as many games as you can. but. A lot can happen. The, the, the league at the moment is very tight, so it's um, you know it's still m more than possible to, to be fighting to stay into the top eight in, in these last few games now before the league splits. So um, look, it's first goal is to, to just try and get into the top eight for sure. We'll have to see what happens. You know, I'm just uh, enjoying my football. I feel like I'm playing better and fitter than I have than I have been. You know, it's for me is this is what I mean about sort of with age now. I'm 29 and. I'm at that age where I, 
I understand football and I feel, you know, this season I've scored a few goals and I feel like it's because uh, I've got that fitness of going there, but also understanding the moments to go and, and these kind of things. So, yeah, look, for me, I'm enjoying my football, keep, keep trying to keep my place in the team, playing well and see where we go.